Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today is World AIDS Day. It is important in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic to recall that HIV AIDS remains one of the most deadly pandemics in history. 35 million people around the world died of HIV. May they rest in peace. When I was a teenager growing up in the 1980s, I remember the fear of this epidemic, a disease that was spreading, that was incurable, and that was a death sentence. And I want to hail someone who was a friend and a personal hero to me, Jim Kane. Jim is an activist who marched in the first ever Pride Parade in Winnipeg, and he's been HIV positive since 1986. In 2015, he told the CBC of his diagnosis that there was a lot of shame attached to it. I believe it was 1987, and the panic and fear gripped Winnipeg at the time. It's unbelievable I am still alive. When I was diagnosed, I was planning my life in a two-year cycle, not 20 years. When I was 30, I thought I would live forever. When I was 32, I thought I was dying. I had to learn this through adversity. Jim is alive today because of astonishing breakthroughs in medical treatment and antivirals that turned a disease that was a death sentence into a chronic, manageable condition. We have to thank the courageous activists who challenged myths and stigma around safe sex, HIV, AIDS, and treatments in order to make this possible. The Manitoba government does need to make its HIV program easier and more accessible with less hoops to jump through for both providers and patients. In Alberta and BC, for instance, drugs that prevent and cover HIV are covered 100% without a deductible. It's also critical to talk about the shattering impact an HIV AIDS diagnosis can have on someone's mental health. Fear, anxiety, depression, stigma and isolation, we need mental health supports as well. As a province, the University of Manitoba has done some of the most important work in the world on HIV AIDS and their work should be an inspiration to all of us. The goal of World AIDS today is to eradicate HIV AIDS as other diseases have been by 2030. Thank you to everyone like Jim Kane who made this hope a real possibility.